morning, respected teachers and my dear friends. Today, I'm going to talk about the topic, watching a cricket match. Most of you in this class like to watch cricket, right? Especially an India-Pakistan match. Doesn't sound funny. Just for a game, the whole nation look at the television screen. No, no, no. Let's get back to the point, shall we? When you watch a cricket match through the television, you can see a lot of Indians in the balcony of the state shouting, Kaun jitega? India jitega. This chanting keeps on going until the end of the match. When the match starts, everyone will be so quiet, not even a single person will make noise and even not allow the kid to make noise. Especially during the last over, when India had an equal chance of winning or losing. And the scenario in the stadium itself is very interesting. Then we move on to the circular field of grass surrounded by digital media displays and a strip of boundary cushion around it. Then of course the pitch smoothly and nicely made. It plays a major role the behavior of the ball. Then there are three slender stumps at two ends of the pitch. To administer the match, there are three umpires, two on field and one off field. The match referee calls the captains of the two teams for the toss. If India wins the toss, the spectators burst with excitement. If Pakistan wins a toss, heaven knows what will happen. The people will start booing or start throwing plastic bottles. Most of you might have seen a robotic thing moving around the stadium in ropes. It is called a spider cam. It is used by the media to telecast the match into your television, which is very interesting. Even the umpires have small, cute cameras. These cameras are especially helpful when there is a deadlock between the decision made by the two umpires on field and the main umpire who that's the third umpire makes the decision using these cameras it was recently started then we move on to none other than the game the game keeps on going smoothly like the ball of balls the batsman might play a four a six or miss the ball or even get out. The match keeps going on for a considerable three hours or even more. I don't understand how these people sit there in a pathetic situation with their legs aching and without cool air produced by a fan or air conditioner and sweating in a hot, humid climate. Most of you are feeling that a cricket match is very interesting. Even for me too, by the way, it's very interesting. My father is a next level cricket fan. He won't even allow any one of you to change the channel while the match is going on, especially in India-Pakistan match. When my favorite TV show is going on, I try to make my father believe that the match is washed out. Sometimes he does believe me. Then, of course, you see, the match also 
is quite unhappy for some people and happy for others sometimes these matches are always exaggerated by the commentators especially harsha bogle sorry bogle i get confused with that this year sadly india lost the match against pakistan i was watching this match in india reading cooler in a village named kumba kona i think many of you may be knowing that very well i mentioned someone who's in that group my cousin brother was really upset i asked him why are you so upset big brother he told me that i'm not upset that india lost a match i'm upset because i lost a bet of 100 rupees with my friends that india would win the match against pakistan and plus he gave a percentage for it guess what 100% he was so 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 what i say he was so determined that india would win the match agreeable so if you see that even for a small game people bet and they don't care about money because they know the value of money there are sometimes a rivalry which forms between the youth when they watch these kind of international matches you might have always witnessed it between the cricketers or some game players or sports in in the form of our humans this mostly happens between virat kohli and steve smith in cricket recently in guwahati there was a match and some indian cricket fanatics started pelting stones on the tour bus or sometimes the team bus of the australian cricket team but you know guess what they apologized after they did that with pack placards when or the australian team was returning from the match this was actually a good thing as i told you the last over is the time you should see the faces of the indian fans some will be crying some will be so stressed some will be praying to god and much more expressions can be witnessed the pakistani fans are much 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 more worse than the indian fans they break the television in which they have witnessed the match and set on fire Oof. so my dear friendly gavilers from this speech i have learned something very good and very interesting and i want to share with you all that is to never become a fanatic of anything in your life and always enjoy a good game of cricket between two professional teams thank you